Hello everyone, my name is Rinda Sharma and welcome back to Idea Asho, your go-to channel for all things creative and cutting edge. I am a representative of Idea Asho and I have got something really incredible in store for all the users today. A real-time fuel delivery app. The app connects fuel consumers with fuel providers. It eliminates the need to visit gas stations physically and allows users to order fuel to their location with just a few taps on their smartphones. Before diving into the app's exciting new features, I'm going to tell the users how to log in or sign into the app as well as how to sign up for the app. These are two different processes. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So in order to sign into the app, the users need to add in their email, their password, and then click on the sign in button. They also have the option of signing in through their Facebook or Google account. If in any case they have forgotten their password, they just need to click on forgot password. Then they have to enter their email address to recover their password and click on send. Then they have to create a new password, re-enter that password and click on reset password. And their password will be reset successfully. Then they have to go back to the login page, add in their email address, their new password and click on sign in. And that's it. They will get signed into the app. When it comes to the sign up process, it is for those who do not have an account on the app. So users just need to click on the sign up button. They have to add in their email address, create a new username, create a new password and click on the sign up button. After that, they have to add the four digit verification code that has been sent on their email address. And after that, they will get signed up for the app. So once the users are through with the login or the sign up process, this is the home page that will appear in front of them. The entire application is completely user friendly and very, very easy to navigate through. On the home page, uh, the users will be able to see different options in different segments, um, which they can choose from when it comes to placing an order for the fuel. Before telling the users on how to place an order, I am going to click on this three line button given at the top on the left hand side. And uh, once I click on the button, this is the page that will, this is the window that will appear in front of the users. Um, their name will be mentioned here. They can view their profile from this section. Apart from this, there are several other uh, segments as well, such as my cards, notification, coupons, settings, help center, and logout. So uh, once the users click on my cards, uh, they can enter uh, their payment information. They can select a payment mode and enter their payment information before. Uh, this is done to make uh, the ordering process uh, easier and smoother. Uh, so they have different options to choose from like MasterCard, Google Pay, or add a new card like Apple Pay or Visa, or they can go with PayPal. So. Just to take an example, if I click on MasterCard, I need to select that option and then click on add. Then I need to mention all the card details like card number, card holder's name, card's expiry date, as well as CVV, and then click on add card. And once these uh, card details have been saved, um, you can uh, the users can go back from here. They also have the option of making the app remember their details. Um, or not, it is as per the, um, they can tick the box as per their preference. So once they go back from here, the next uh, segment is on notifications. Uh, this is the section where the users will be notified regarding all the updates about the app and all the new notifications which come in about their order status or about any discount coupons which are there, which they can avail and uh, if they want, they can uh, mark all the notifications as red. Uh, they just need to tick this box. And these notifications uh, are divided into today and notifica to, uh, notifications from today, notifications from yesterday and day before. 
so once they go back from here then there is the coupon section in the coupon section there are two tabs available and used so in the available section users will be able to see a list of discount coupons which are available and uh, which they can avail and in the used tab they will be able to see all the discount coupons which they have already used on their uh, orders so it is a section on settings um uh, in the section on settings there are different uh, things uh, mentioned like change password preferences notifications data use language um users can check updates in the check update section contact uh the customer care of the application if they have uh, any doubts or queries by clicking on the contact us option they can also go through the privacy policy as well as the terms and conditions and they also have the option of logging out uh, given at the end um then if they click on change password uh they can uh, change their current password they just need to enter their current password create a new password re-enter that new password and then click on uh, change password and their password will be changed successfully apart from this there is a section on notifications uh if they want to receive daily updates then they can switch they can enable notifications as well as promotional notifications and if they do not want to receive daily updates then they can disable them as per their preferences and as i had mentioned before there is also the option of logging out if the users click on it uh, they will get back on this page okay once the users close this window they will get back to the home page on the home page when it comes to placing an order for the fuel all that the users need to do is uh, choose the kind of fuel which they need choose the brand enter the quantity uh enter the delivery location and then click on order then all the details which they had put will appear in front of them on the page then they have to choose their payment mode whether mastercard or google pay and then after selecting the option they need to click on pay and after entering all the essential details their order will be placed successfully after that they have the option of tracking the order or going back to the home page if they want to track the order they just need to click on this button and then it will show them all the details regarding the delivery status whether the order has been confirmed whether uh, it is being prepared uh, whether it is out for delivery or has it been delivered and users also have the option of rating the service if uh, they want they can view the delivery status on the map as well the option of cancelling the order is just uh, given right uh, beside it um, so if they want they can view the delivery status on the map by clicking on this button and it will show them the estimated uh, time of delivery uh, their location address uh, the name of the delivery person and uh, they can also contact the delivery person if um, the delivery person is stuck somewhere or if the order is being delayed okay on the home page users also have the option of searching filling stations they can search a filling station a particular filling station near to them by putting its name in the search bar apart from this the application also shows all the filling stations near to the user's location they can access uh the whole list by clicking on the show all button apart from this if they would like to know the directions of that particular station on the map then they can click on the name and uh, name of the filling station and once they do a page like this will appear in front of them and it will show them how much time uh, will it take to reach that particular gas station or filling station and it will show them their uh, address and um, they just need to click on start journey and once they start their journey it will keep on showing them uh, these details such as destination time distance left and destination address once back to this page there is also another unique feature called the filter option which is just next to the search bar this filter button if the users click on it they can apply all of these filters they can mark the distance select the delivery time and after applying these filters they can continue with the process of placing the order for the fuel 
and uh, once I close it, just beside, just next to the home segment is the order section. In the order section, if the users open it, it will give them a record of all their current and previous orders which they have placed. So um, it will also keep them posted about the status of their current orders in this section. If the fuel has left the station or whether the order has been delivered, whether they would like to track their order or whether they would like to reorder, then they can do all of that in uh, through this section okay so from the order section the users can head back to the home page on the home page uh, at the top on the right hand side the application will show the users a profile picture if they have uh, set it and once they click on it it will show all the details which they had entered when they had set up their account like their full name phone number email address location details if they wish to edit their profile picture they can click on this button right here if they wish to edit any of these details then they can click on the edit button right here and then after changing the details as per their preferences they can click on the save button and head back to the home page and that's it thank you so much for watching we hope that you enjoyed the video and i will see you all next time